And welcome to part 33 of Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green! Last episode, we did a whole bunch of stuff that I can't remember. Why can't I remember it? It's probably because I've been recording too much today. Anyway, off screen, I went through the mind-numbingly boring task of training everybody up to level 50, and I uh, upgraded my movesets while I was away. I went ahead and taught Victory Bell Solar Beam in replace of Razor Leaf and Sunny Day in replacement of Sleep Powder. And I taught Ika uh, Thunder in replacement of Body Slam. Mr. Mime, nothing changed. Charizard got Steel Wing instead of Metal Claw. Jolteon got Double Team instead of Double Kick, and Toxic instead of whatever the hell else he had. I can't- oh, Dig. There we are. Trying to make him into the, uh, little bitch of the team. And so far nothing changed for him, but in two levels he will- we will be replacing, um... I, I forgot how to speak good. Don't judge me, people! We- we-, we bad. again, no speak good me! Replacing, at level 52, Dig with Earthquake. At level 57, I need to take out a move. I would like to take out Strength, but I don't think there's a way to delete HMs in this game, unfortunately. If I was playing the cartridge version, I would just hook it up to my N64, put it in Pokemon Stadium 2, and delete the move in there, but that's what I used to do. But this is not a cartridge game, and there's no way for me to do that. Anyway, we can go in here now. This is a ground-type gym. And there are a good chunk of trainers in here. As you can clearly see. And dash pads! It's a ground-type gym, but you'll also find Pokemon uh, fighting and poison types here as well. So be wary! We will fight Takahashi now. As you can see, I think, um, as far as gym trainers go, I needlessly leveled, but I know Giovanni is tougher than Blaine, so... Who's Giovanni again? I'm not sure. Anyway, this is the whole reason why I did that. One, it ups the power of Giga Drain. It allows me to absorb more with Giga Drain, and plus, turn Solar Beam into a one-turn move. Overpowered. You dead now. What else do we get to fight? A Machop? Ew. Yeah. I'm, I'm just gonna switch to something that has increased firepower. Yeah. I might not even sh If the rest of the fights are these boring... Wow. If the rest of these fights are this boring, I'll cut them out. I'll just stop and start the recording immediately once the battle starts, and if the battle is boring, I'll just delete it. And you're dead. I'm probably not going to get a chance to really test out uh, uh, Steel Wing. Because around the stage in the game, most rock types that I could use it against, unfortunately, also have the subtype. Not the subtype, but have the. Um, have Rock Slide, so. Not. And high enough defense for me to not be able to kill them in one shot with Steel Wing, so. I'm not speaking well in this episode for some reason. And that takes care of a very boring trainer. Yeah, I think from now on, I'm just gonna stop and start the recording at the start of each trainer. If it's boring, I'll just cut it out. Because this was boring. And by boring, I mean, like, super boring. And... Okay. There we are. You can fight these three guys. I never fight these three guys because it's, there's no point. Truly talented win with style. You don't need style to win. Nice suit, Warren. Ooh, Marowak. We have not seen one of those yet. There's five of these guys. It might actually be interesting. Well, we have seen a Marowak yet, but I don't think I've ever seen a trainer use a Marowak yet. Before settling on Rhyhorn, I was thinking about raising a Marowak, but I didn't like it the one time I trained it. So, two Marowaks. Okay, you've officially drifted to boringness. Please increase your attractiveness level of this fight, please. 
else it will be skipped. I will skip. I might skip it mid-fight, just for fun. I haven't thought of that yet. Hey, I have one of those! But mine's level 50, I'm willing to bet yours is just level 37. Cause you're that boring. Nope, 38. You surprised me. Unfortunately, it's not gonna help you. Quad weakness, boom. You could have been level 70 and that would have killed you in one shot. And I still would have been faster. Ooh, this is different. I've not seen a trainer use a Nita Queen yet. Uh, that's a Nita Arena. Nita and female evolved at level 16 plus Moonstone equals Nita Queen. Of the two versions, I prefer Ro uh, Nita King as opposed to Nita Queen, simply because I don't like defensive Pokemon with no nothing good going for them. Oh yay, Neat Arena. Let me show you a real Rhyhorn. I know a lot of times I say, why the hell is that not evolved yet? But with Rhyhorn, you'll want to wait. Simply because it's really annoying to get the good moves with him if you don't wait. It took me like, I think three hours of game time to train all these guys up completely. But it only took me about a half hour because of fast forward. See? See how much faster it goes with fast forward? <laughs> Thank you, Warren, for being slightly interesting. Fortunately, we will now be going to the end of this gym because the trainers are not worth it. See? See how easy that was? Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and save it right here and I'll be right back, guys. Okay guys, I'm back, and we are ready to fight Giovanni. He is a mainly ground-type user, I think he's ditched his Kangaskhan. And if you don't know it's Giovanni, just look at his sprite, you know it's him. It shall be so until I can restore. Yeah, you're not even close to being the greatest chain trainer, Giovanni. Still a nice suit, though. Okay, I'll say it. Why is that not a Rhyhorn? So you can see it was actually worth my time to grind. Because he is a lot better than the rest of the trainers in here. And you're dead. While Solar Beam would have been more powerful, I did not want him to try to use Fissure. If he still gives you Fissure, that is. Okay, that... he You've just drifted into boring. Holy crap, I have one of those. That exact level, too. Should've brought out my Rhyhorn, had a battle of the Rhyhorns. Unfortunately for you, I prefer to win quickly. For my viewers' sake, as much as my own. Alright, Doug Trio. This guy's quite quick, so I'm going to go ahead and switch to Charizard. Simply so it won't be able to use Earthquake. If he has Rock Slide, I'm gonna be pissed. Thankfully, I know from raising a Doug Trio, very low HP and poor special defense and regular defense, so it's dead. Need a queen. I think this is his main, actually. Either that or he has a Rhyhorn. Uh, Rhydon, rather. Level 44. Nope. Only f up four levels from when we fought him in Slipco. Well, you're dead. Show me that boost of EXP. Oh, Nido King, I think, is his main. I can't believe his highest level is a Rhyhorn. Did they. Why? I'm pretty sure he had a Rhydon in the original game. <sighs> that might have just been a little mistake by the programmers, because I think that should have been a Rhydon. I feel sort of cheated by that fight. Truly intense, you mean? I ripped you in half. That's the 8th badge! Now give me my money. Nice, 10 grand. Love that. Received TM26. Earthquake! What do you have to say for yourself?
Okay, explain Pokemon Gold. <laughs> Why is Team Rocket there? Didn't you leave explicit instructions not to re, uh, to make po- Ah! I'm pretty sure he left explicit instructions to his followers saying, Guys, do me a favor. Don't restart Team Rocket without me because if you do, I'll kill you all. There we are. Anyway, I think because this the, this took a little less time than I thought, instead of showing the rival battle and the first floor of Victory Road next time, I'm going to show the rival battle this time and show you the entire Victory Road next time. First, I'm going to go ahead and heal up, so I'll be right back, guys. Ah, fully refreshed. I had to use the can. And not me personally, I mean my player. Anyway, after that TMI, we're going to go fight our rival right now. We're not wasting any time. Please, no wild, please, no wild, please. Yes! Hey, dude! Who's gonna whip who, jackass? Where's your car, Gary? You had one in the anime, didn't you? Yeah, you can see he's pretty much ready. And, but he's still got quick attack. Little bitch. <laughs> there we are. Say dead. Boom. I hate using Pidgeot, although it's one of my favorites aesthetically. Next up, Rhyhorn. I could do a battle of the Rhyhorns, but I don't wanna. I bet my Rhyhorn's better than yours. My Rhyhorn is much better than yours. Ow. Ow. Damn cracking knuckles. Come on, what's next? What's next? Show me what's next. Let me guess. Executor. Ex he's, it's still an Execute? How did he beat that guy? How did he beat Giovanni with an Execute? Oh, wait, never mind. He's got Blastoise. Burn. And your health goes me. You be dead. Next up is Blastoise, and for that, he won't have anything annoying. Like when you fight him in the Elite Four, he'll up his move sets significantly. So is where this Blastoise will probably have like Hydro Pump on him and Bite. In the Elite Four, he'll most likely have. <laughs> it started to rain. <laughs> we were thinking the same things. Try using Hydro Pump now. And suddenly I'm faster and you're dead. Oh, damn you. Now he's going to use a potion or something. Doo doo. I don't, I don't mind that. I, I guess I'll beat him the old-fashioned way. Carry, kill yourself. How do you not have Hydro Pump? I would have kept my War Turtle unevolved until he learned Hydro Pump. Or at least would have replaced Water Gun with Surf. Ah, uh, you're ridiculous, you are. Well, thanks for the experience. Eh, yeah, okay. Fight power with power. And by power with power, I mean power with defense. And it's still raining. What are you gonna do now? I'm. F How is Mr. Mime faster than Alakazam? Not gonna help you, buddy. Unfortunately for me and you. Ghost is physical in this game. That's why this didn't kill you one shot. You may have piss poor defense, but Mr. Mine has piss poor attack. Last up should be Growlithe. Steve, go! Make him your bitch, Steve. Boo-hoo, you used Intimidate. Let me guess, you're gonna... You're either gonna use Takedown or Roar. 
Or you're gonna use such a basic move as Leer. That works too, I guess. Smart to use a move that you know it's not gonna do anything. And Kablammy. Not hard at all. I was just careless. How... Why... I don't need more pro... You... <sighs> How odd. I win, he says I need more practice. That is what you call anime logic. Anyway, that about does it for this episode of Pokemon. And, phew, no random battles, no OP or curse. In the next episode, we will be going through the various gates and then throughout Victory Road, fighting all the trainers that I can find and getting all the items that I can. Expect a long one next time. Take care, guys.